Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OSVFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to transform the boring bullet point slide from this to something this. You can see I have created three tables here, three boxes where we have got option A, option B and option C. If I want to see what's in option A, the text will reveal unless and until you click the open. Open, can you see the text is revealed? I want to reveal the text of option B, I'll click the open as a similarly for option C. I want to close option B and option C, I can just simply come and close on option B and close on option C. Right? I want to close all these things and I want to open option C only. Alright? Isn't it cool? So let's start uh, how we can do this in PowerPoint and believe me it's very easy to do and you can really enjoy doing it. The first step is to create the new slide and go insert tab and select shape and you have to select the shape which is this one which is rectangle top corners rounded. I will just drag this and I will make maybe I'll just give 2.85 all right and I will just make it somewhat curve edges and just rotate it to flip vertical all right I'm just going to remove the borders no outline and later on you can just change the color it's up to you so let it be whatever the color is okay and then I'm just going to press ctrl D okay and I'm just going to make the, the upper part so for that one I'm going to reduce from here you can see this one and from here I can just make it straight all right and I will just reduce it maybe this is the part okay fine this is we have got two different boxes I can just apart from that one we have something which is uh, inside so if you can see this one there's something here also right this text I'm going to create one more a normal rectangle shape and draw the rectangle maybe this size make it in center and again give some different color and shape outline has no outline and you can just bring this this one make it on top bring to front all right so we have got three boxes that is the bottom this is the reveal text and this is the top so I just want to first rename these boxes so that it will be easy for us to do the animation uh, at the later stage so for that one I'm just going to home tab and in something here under find you can just see something called select select objects and select selection pane right so we have got three different rectangles here so this is my bottom rectangle I'll just say bottom rectangle right and this one is the reveal text or reveal rectangle and this one is the top rectangle all right apart from that one you can just do some more uh, things like I have just created one more box which is you can see the small uh, the different color here you can do the similar also I can just press ctrl D all right and I will just give some different color to this for example I'm just going to give something like light green and just say send to back alright like this so this one you have to group this 
for example you can just come and group this one the name again you have to just change the name so you can change the name once you created all or you can create one by one so i recommend you to first do like uh, this one we have got different uh, objects here you group it and then you can name it all right okay i'm just going to add one more rectangle here which i am taking for example around a rectangle okay where i'm just going to put the text again give some different colors all right and say this is i'll just say open and you can just change the font whatever the font you like all right let me just change this color so that for example i will just change the background color to some dark color and this one i'm making it white all right this one also i can just change something to light green this is so this is one of my the top box is ready okay the top part again i can just simply group it and give the name as the top rectangle right and here i'm going to give one more text which is i'll just say option a and bring it here can just increase the size I'll bring to front okay all right now this one I'm just going to add one more that I can do it later part which is the close I can just simply do something which is close here all right so again let me just add that close as well here and give the same color and close Alright, so this is my close button. This is my text which is option A. Let's do the animation part now. This one first of all you bring it exactly so that uh, to the close position. I'm just going to close this one and under animation open animation pane the first I'm doing so that the moment I click this one this particular the rectangle it should move uh, upwards okay for that I'm just going to add animation first of all select the object which is our the top rectangle go to add animation and go to bottom and something called lines here can you see this one motion paths lines just select that one and if you see this is coming down actually so i can just select effects instead of down i'll make it up can you see it's going up but it's going too much so i'll just select the this uh, arrow and slowly by holding the shift key i can bring it down maybe i don't know this much let's see example if i play 
but still somewhat going somewhat up i'll just make it something like this still i'll just make it somewhat less as well so adjust that one so that if you see this one the red dot i can just make it up and down right maybe like this let's see here all right this is perfect okay you can make some more fast instead of uh, very slow i can just make it uh, fast or very fast and this effect i'll just give some bounce effect can you see here it's fast and okay so this is this should happen once i click this open button or the top part right so for how to do that one that we have to add there's something called triggers to do the triggers first of all i have to just double click the animation which we have just added double click that one and go to timings there's something called triggers here click on the triggers and say start click on i'll just say this one should happen at the the top rectangle all right can you see here if i just say this one and just say okay now if i do the slideshow the moment i'm bringing it here can you see it's becoming hand symbol all right can you see just click this one okay all right now i want that to close to close what i have to do i have to just click the the close button so let's see that animation how we can do that okay now let's work on the close button so when i click the close button the this the top part should close okay so for that one i'm going to add animation again i will select this object and again i'll go to animation tab under animation i'll just say add animation and again i will just say lines here right so i have got two animations here right this is one uh, which we have just created the triggers and the other one is uh, which is going down okay so this down should happen only when i click on close so for that again i'm going to use the triggers double click the uh, animation go to timings under triggers start click on effect which is i will just say close button here so i am seeing the powerpoint that i want to uh, start the animation unless and until i click the close button okay that's what the trigger says start effect on click off close button okay i'll just say okay here and now if i just bring it here this is open and if i just bring if i just can you see here close there's a hand icon is coming if i just click close it will close but it is coming very fast so what we have to do we have to adjust the align one can you see here we have to adjust this okay so you have to just it will take some time if you cannot do like this then you have to just zoom in and do that one again open and there's something called close okay open and close all right so again you can just do the close button also you can just do some bounce effects and you can make it somewhat slow or medium it's up to us to decide what to do all right so let me just zoom it and we can just simply align it okay so the next thing is i'm just going to add the text here i'll just say insert text box i'll just say type your text here and i'll just bring this text here again this text should reveal once i open this one all right so for that one i'm just going to select the text go to animation i'll just say appear 
appear I've just added this should appear once I click on open right so I'm just bringing this onto the trigger which is top rectangle all right so which is I'll just say a bit previous so example if I just bring it here and if I open this one can you see even I can just say instead of with previous I can say after previous I'll bring it here click open and when I just say close that should go off for that again I'm just going to select the uh, text add option uh, in that case I'm going to select disappear all right disappear I'm just bringing this down which is here at the close and this also with previous now open you will see the text and close the text is gone all right so similarly you can just copy everything press ctrl d and bring it here press ctrl d and bring it here and then just change the color of your choice i will just say yellow maybe and this one maybe red or whatever and then you can just change the colors right so once you have done that one your the final animation will look something like so if you see here this is i've just put some different colors here different background here and then you can play with this one all right friends so that's it for me and hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel always vfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye